Hey friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and on this channel I like to share with all of you my thoughts and personal opinions on different skincare products and some other things too. So today on this sunscreen Sunday, we are going to take a look at the Bondi Sands SPF 50 Fragrance Free Face Sunscreen Lotion. That's a mouthful. <laughs> but before we get started, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. It helps to support my channel and be able to continue creating content for all of my awesome viewers. Okay, let's begin. It's sunscreen Sunday, y'all. Uh, today we are taking a look at this chemical sunscreen here, the Bondi Sands SPF 50 face sunscreen lotion. Um, one of my awesome viewers asked specifically for me to review this, so I wanted to do this for her. Um, this is not my first time using this sunscreen. I actually used it on my face and body while floating down the river the other weekend, um, but I'll still do my usual demo and let you know my overall thoughts. Um, but anyways, so on their website it says, uh, step into the sun with confidence, knowing your skin is protected with our Aussie tried and tested sunscreen that is infused with intense hydration and free of any nasties. Okay. Uh, providing UVA and UVB protection, our fragrance free formula is gentle, fast absorbing, and dries to an invisible, non-greasy finish. Formulated to deliver up to 72 hours of hydration with added aloe and vitamin E to leave your skin feeling deeply moisturized. This is water resistant up to 80 minutes. They claim it has no white cast and it can be worn alone or under makeup. They also state that it's paraben and sulfate free Reef friendly, non comedogenic, dermatologist tested, and cruelty free. So it sounds pretty good. And it was only $10, which is a pretty good bargain price, too. Uh, so let's get our demo started and see how it goes. All right. So since, you know, I've kind of taken a little break. You guys probably haven't seen me on here as much. Life just got in the way and I've been busy. Um, but I'm back and anyways, recently I've started instead of doing like the two to three finger application, I've been doing layers. So I do about one and a half to two fingers and I put that on and then I go back with another layer. So this is still layer one, but it's not as much as I put on my face as a whole. Okay, so that's one layer rubbed in. Hi Jameson. <laughs> As you can see, it is pretty shiny, but I don't know. It doesn't, for being chemical, it doesn't sting my eyes, which is good. It did does do a little bit, like right in here. I'm a little irritated some for some reason, and it kind of stings a tiny bit, like nothing horrible. Let's go back in and do our next layer and then I'll let you know how I'm feeling overall. All right, layer number two it's done. It's chemical, so there's no white cast, which is nice. Um, but 
it's heavy. It's really heavy and it feels greasy on the skin and I'm super shiny right now and I can just tell and I know I'm going to be shiny <laughs> after it dries down for like 20 minutes. Um, it doesn't feel too bad on the skin. Like if you had a really dry skin, this could be something that would work for you, but I don't have really dry skin. And even in the winter, when I lean a little bit more on the dry side, it's not really dry. And I don't see that this would completely soak in for me, but it doesn't sting the eyes. It doesn't really irritate my face. There isn't any kind of fragrance, you know, it's got some decent ingredients in there. It's, I mean, nothing like horrible or out of the ordinary or anything like that. It's just a basic face sunscreen. However, I did use this, like I said, a couple weeks ago floating down the river and it was great on my body. I liked it on my body, like my chest and my arms and I'm pale. I'm pretty pale. I don't go out in the sun. I work nights. I sleep during the day, you know, like I'm not out in the sun a lot, but when I am, I always have SPF on. And I was out on the river for four hours, maybe a little bit more. And I applied that two or three times, like before I left and then twice out on the river and I was not burnt at all. So it works freaking great, but it's just, I don't know. It's still pretty tacky and sticky. Um, I will check back in with you in about 20 minutes or so so we can see if it, you know, sunk in a little bit and maybe dried down a little. Isn't so greasy, soaked in, whatever. Um, and then I will check in after a couple hours. Maybe I'll put a little makeup on and see how it goes with that since I haven't used it with makeup yet. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in about 20. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back reporting from the couch. It's been about 20, maybe even 25 minutes since I um, last saw you guys. And you can't tell as much down here. Well, maybe from that angle you can. I am so greasy. Like, I go like this on my face and it just like comes off on my finger. It's so gross. Um, so they're non-greasy, fast absorbing that they, um, claim is so not the case. This is probably one of the greasiest, um, face sunscreens I've ever tried. It's not, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like high, like my face doesn't feel hydrated and moisturized. It just feels like I have a greasy film laying on my face it's I don't feel like it's beneficial for my skin at all besides the SPF like I don't feel like it's like like I said moisturizing or hydrating it's just very greasy it's just sitting on my face it's not soaking in um I can already tell this is not gonna play well with makeup on me so <clears throat> I don't even think I'm gonna attempt putting makeup on because I have to go out in public I have to quick go donate and donate plasma and um I'm already gonna go out looking like a grease ball and I don't want to go out with my makeup like running down my face or pilling up all over so yeah those are my thoughts it's kind of how I felt um you know when I was going down the river and everything too but at that point I was sweaty and I was in the water and you know so it wasn't a fair review but now that I'm just chilling in the house and just using it on my face. These are still my thoughts. Not loving it. I'll probably just use it up as, you know, another body sunscreen. But that's how I feel. I gotta go donate. So I will check back in a couple hours and I'll let you know my final thoughts on everything. And hopefully maybe within the 45 minute drive that I got, it will soak into my skin a little bit more so I don't feel so gross, but we will see. And I'll check back in when I get done donating. See you then. Hey friends, I am back. I just pulled in the driveway from donating and it was packed today. So I was there for a couple of hours. So it's been 
a little over three hours since I first applied the Bondi, I think that's how it's pronounced, Bondi Sands um, SPF 50 on my face. And as you can see, I am very shiny. And it's even made like my hair really greasy because it's like on my fingers. And yeah, I actually, when I was at BioLife, I took a paper towel from the bathroom and like wiped my face because I just felt so greasy and it felt so thick on my face. Um, and I'm still super shiny and greasy and still get grease on my finger when I wipe my face. Um, so this is definitely way too emollient and greasy for me. And right now, my combo skin is actually leaning a little bit more on the dry side because I'm having some dryness from um, increasing my tretinoin. And it's still super greasy. So, and I mean, maybe if you had super dry dehydrated skin, this would work for you. But even like oily combo, combo leaning dry, it's just too emollient. Um, everything is like sticking to my face, like every little dust particle and hair that flies up and hits me, it's like stuck. And it's just, it's a big no for me. Um, I'll probably use it up on my body because I don't want to waste it, but I definitely will not be applying this on my face again. I just feel like I could break out in acne at any moment now just because of how this feels sitting on my face. But yeah, that's my review of the Bondi Sands SPF 50 for your face. Um, it's a no-go for me. Maybe it works great for you. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you use and you love and what kind of skin you have because maybe then I can recommend it for them. But at this point, I'm really not recommending it for anybody, especially wearing under makeup. If I had makeup on right now, I know I'd be just like melting off of my face. So... But yeah, anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have a skintastic day. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. Bye.